What Up Roundup Gang. Today, we are finally going to customize the Gen 1 Medicom Woody that I received. We're going to give it the signature collection hat with the leather cord, half a millimeter. There's our Gen 1 Woody, Medicom Woody. Beautiful, perfect body, honestly. In all its Gen 1 glory, there it is. <laughs> and of course, we are going to be adding to it the Seed Toys head kit. And here we go. Now, when taking apart a Medicom Woody, you always have to be very careful because just as David has pointed out from Today I Grew Up, it is a very delicate toy. It's really not meant to be a toy, so the material isn't super sturdy. And you'll find that the little borders of the vest will end up peeling off. So you do want to be gentle, mainly with the vest. The rest is actually built quite nicely. I always like to start with the boots. Now, once the boots are off, I like to then make it back up to the top and then go for the arms. Because what I want to do is once the arms are disconnected, I want to be able to pull everything out from the collar and then the legs will come with it. You will have to split the back. It's actually not sewn on. Believe it or not, it's actually glued. The collar is glued together at the top. So it's actually quite easy. And as you can see, you really have to find your opening. It may not be a big opening, but you can get it. And it just comes right out, very easy. Now you'll find something very different about this Medicom Woody because it is Gen 1, it actually has a foam insert in the torso to keep it a really nice shape. And unlike the other Gen 1 Medicom Woodies that I've customized, I'm actually going to reinsert, which you'll see later, the foam padding. And I really like what it did with the shape. So we're gonna hold on to this. And this is how we're going to do it. This is how the mechanism is going to work. Head goes right here. Of course, we have to do something with this gaping hole. <laughs> now, this is a suggestion from Rye Guy. He didn't quite say exactly how to use it, but he did suggest this from Amazon. I figured out a method of actually being able to incorporate it into the head to plug it on to this metal rod. And it's very snug, but it's still easy enough to take on and off, so you really could still make it a swappable head woody. Let this glue dry. Now, as most of you here may know, I like to put all this metal armature back into woody just without the joint connecting pieces, so we're going to take all of these apart. This is how the legs are going to go in. You're going to need these hands. Already looks so good. Look at that. 
I'm, what I'm not sure about is why the heck didn't Medicom Woody come with these hands to begin with? Like, come on. And this is where we're going to insert this. What you want to do is you want to make sure you push it in between the stuffing. You really don't want to make it outside of the stuffing where you're going to feel the metal on the edges of the leg. So if you put it right in the middle, it's going to have an even coat of stuffing. You'll have to wiggle it through as you can see here, but then it'll be good to go. We'll do the same on the other side. My least favorite part. But you do want to sew the joints. It's going to make a huge difference. It's also going to keep the armature where it needs to be. And it's going to give those defining upper and lower parts of the leg and the arm that you see in the movie. the metal armature in the arm now with the same method try to keep that stuffing as evenly dispersed around the metal as we push it in Boom, look at that separation. Just like the movie, it looks so good. And his arm bends a little easier too. So we're gonna do something different here. Now I wanna connect this hand joint to the hand. So we're actually gonna cut this ball off and then we're going to plug this into the hand by drilling a hole just big enough to fit it in there. Now, you may be able to make the zip tie method work. I didn't really see how that was gonna work as well because there isn't an insert like with Thinkway to put a zip tie. But if you're looking for an idea, let me tell you, this works really well. Just gotta get some super glue in there and make sure it's a little bit of a deeper hole. Once the stuffing is put in around the metal armature, the hand will, and you'll see later, rotate as normal. And that's the reason I did it this way. I did not want to glue it in place. I like the freedom of being able to move the hand and keep that functionality that Woody does have in the movie. So again, this is a really great method. And you do want to take your time with the stuffing because if you kind of do it sloppy, you'll have an uneven looking arm with stuffing in one side and not enough stuffing on the other. If you take your time, it'll look really well, or I should say really even and well done. Here I'm trying to make sure that this neck piece sticks out just enough. You don't want it to stick out too much, otherwise it'll appear as though he has too long of a neck. I think we got it just right here, and it did take me a few tries.
There we go. Here we have it at really perfect length. Now the foam padding does still need its stuffing and you'll want to make sure that you disperse it correctly so that he doesn't have a weird lumpy body. <laughs> And once you're done putting the stuffing in the front and the back, then we can re-glue the back of his collar, which again, it was originally just glued in place to begin with. We are going to now put in the little accessories here. I actually opted to use the Medicom bandana. I'd already cut it quite a bit, so it's already been modified, so I figured it would work better. Maybe I can use the other bandana for something else, but I cut it very thinly as Woody does have a very thin bandana in the movie, and I am going to, as you'll see here, glue it in place because I don't want the bandana to move, and I'd rather it move with his head as opposed to uh, his head move around the bandana. It always means his bandana will look perfect at all times. I'm putting a little bit of glue on the tiny point of these tweezers and putting it in there because it's a really tight little spot. Doing the same for the back of the bandana, putting a little bit of glue on the tip of the tweezers, just enough so it stays in place, not overdoing it. I will say Gen 1 vest is definitely longer than Gen 2 vest. Or I shouldn't say longer, I should say bigger in general. I had no problem with this vest or any other Gen 1 vest and getting it positioned in the right place so the only the two rows of squares are exposed in the front. However, with Gen 2 vest, it was such a pain to get it to be where it needs to be. And even then, there was still a little bit of a gap on either side. It wasn't perfect, but from a medium distance, you couldn't tell. But here, it just fits right in place because Gen 1 is the better version for sure. Putting a little bit of glue on the tip to make sure that it's nice and flush. There was a little bit of the vest that was flared out just a tad and as a perfectionist you can't have that you can't have it she already looking so good so now I'm gonna do something I've actually never done before I've never put pearlized buttons on a single custom woody ever much less Medicom so I was actually really excited to do this and you'll see the results here in a moment. It looks spectacular. I love the seed, co seed toys kit. <laughs> And yeah, I just use super glue. Again, if I wanted this to be a usable toy and I try to do the clamps or something 
something different because there are there is a backing you can put and properly clamp it in there but this is going to be for decoration for show and for moderate handling so this works perfectly fine testing the fit of the boots here And we're just going to put a very light bit of this Gorilla Glue, put it right in there. The cool thing about the legs is the cotton already is separated perfectly where there's a, a, a tunnel almost where the metal was before. So it slips right in and that glue adheres to the stuffing around it and it ain't going anywhere. Now one thing that's really good to do, whether it's a Medicom Woody or whatever Woody you're customizing, you really want to make sure that the collar looks the way it does in the movie. And in the movie he's got a very, very sharp, pointed, triangular shaped collar. It's put together quite nicely. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be putting some Gorilla Glue in, into the collar and pushing it together really tightly so that it has that look. And you just hold it long enough for the glue to dry and there it is just like the movie And lastly, to redo the twine or the threading here, not a big fan of the, I guess, yarn that they use. I don't know what that is, or the cord that they use. So I'm going to go ahead and put this half a millimeter leather cord. It's going to look a lot better and has actually produce a lot better contrast color-wise. All right, and he is done. Comment below, what do you think of this guy? Is it my best Medicom Woody? Is it the best Medicom Woody you've seen? How, you know, what do you think about it? Comment below and let me know.
What up, round of gang? Well, appreciate you for watching that video. And I will say I've kind of procrastinating doing this customization, but it came out fantastic. Let's take a one last closer look at this Metacom Woody before we wrap this video up. And here he is in all of his glory. So this is probably going to be the very last um, Metacom custom because I don't think I can get better than this. It's Gen 1. It's everything I ever wanted it to be except for a pull string, but I already have one with pull string. doesn't matter. So here he is. Wobbly head. Looks good. Seed toys head. Seed toys hands. Seed toys pearlized buttons. That's right. Pearlized buttons. That's a first. And uh, we put on... Actually, I kind of decided to go with the uh, signature collection hat, and I just redid the, the threading. So let's kind of set that. There he is. Looks pretty uh, freaking good, in my opinion. Here, there you go. Bam. Yeah, I think he looks fantastic. And the cool thing is, uh, shout out to you, Ryan. Kind of can't think of the last name, but. Uh, his head comes on and off really easy. Well, not too easy to where it like almost falls off, but um, that little trick that you gave me of those things on Amazon worked great. And this is so a different mechanism than the other wobbly head Woody, but could still be a swappable head if I found another one I wanted to stick on. I just use this and it goes right on. So it goes on pretty snug. So he's got a full head turn. Got the handkerchief on the neck. Uh, I do that, uh, but yeah, so he's good. He's good. He's you know, and all right. Well, appreciate you all for your patience. I know this custom has been something a lot of people have been looking forward to. Here he is, finally done. Looks amazing. I'm very happy with how he turned out. If you like this video, give it a like. Of course, subscribe. We are getting close to 3,000 subscribers, so giveaway number one is on its way. Remember, three things. The hat that's embroidered, the t-shirt, and a mystery toy. Three things. And uh, there might be uh, another giveaway uh, after that, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Then, of course, we get to the 10K giveaway, and that Metacom Woody that's standing right there is uh, going to be given away. That's right, a Metacom Woody giveaway that's that's huge make sure you subscribe like the video of course before you go remember collector never stops collecting we'll see you on the next video Ha, ha, ha.